always good to drink a healthy amount of water after a good hard exercise and if you wanted to you could add salt for extra benefit because you know we sweat out salt and water but I heard that salt is not only in the food and drinks that we consume apparently salt is everywhere and around us all the time including in this running track but I can't wrap my mind around it how is salt in everything let's find out more follow me I am Alana I was born profoundly deaf but that sure didn't stop me from trying new adventures. I love exploring the great outdoors, braving new activities, and trying delicious vegetarian food. Through this program, I am learning more and more about cherishing and protecting our Earth. Now, follow me! What does it all mean? Yes, and this is called the birthday salt. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we have uh, 366 days, all the different yeah. colors. Not 365, 366 days. Yes. No. Your birthday. I want to see my birthday. Is your birthday? Okay, so what is your date? Birthday. My birthday is yes. same as Taiwan. 10-10. 10-10? <laughs> okay, so I said that see over there. Yes. <laughs> And this no. place over here. Oh, yeah. Tintin. Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. So what does this mean? What does this say? Your characteristic is means that you always want to chase something you want. Chase? You chase something. Yeah, wow. so it means that you are a wise person, mm. very smart, and that mm. yeah, you understanding other people's minds. Mm. Yeah. So all of the birthdays have some kind of meaning. Yeah, the all are different meaning. Wow. Yeah. That is a little bit from Japan. Each month has different names in wow. Japan. So we use that name to Beautiful. create this place. You know now that you mentioned the Japanese meaning with each show, it makes sense because I'm looking at and I noticed this is not a Taiwanese style building. Mm -hmm. This is actually, is this a Japanese building? Yeah, it's a Japanese. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit about the building history? Yeah, well, because I don't know that so okay. well. I can oh. show you another person. He oh, yes, tell you a okay. more okay. story about it. Let's go. Yes, mm -hmm. me. question if you don't mind. I'm looking around and I notice you have a very interesting style here. You have beautiful Japanese design. But can you tell me a bit about this? Is this a Japanese house?因为日本时代的话我们台湾的日照园非常的兴盛日本精致园的工厂就在我们这个附近所有的车张所就好像一个旅馆一样好像一个旅馆一样所以它来这边一方面办公一方面可以住的地方是有在日语来讲叫做
This original we started with the intention and the belief that smashing it with a hammer would ward off evil spirits or bad luck. So we turned into a fun community activity because first of all, you get to play with the hammer and you get to smash these objects and you don't know what's going to be inside it. And it's not really so much whether or not it's about true or not true. So it's more about the symbol. It's more about the meaning behind it when you get together as a community and you do these kind of activities together and it's a really fun event to enjoy. Do you know how salt is harvested in Taiwan? Me neither, really. But thankfully, we are in the only salt museum in the whole world. So we're going to find out how they make salt. Follow me. Like most people, I generally knew that salt came from some form of evaporated water. But this museum is helping me realize two things. The first, the tree behind me. I had no idea that salt was in so many products. Just looking above me, for example, we've got toilet paper, light bulbs, books, record players, soap glass. Did you know that salt was in all of those things? I didn't either. The second thing I realized is that salt requires intensive labor to gather, collect, and carry it back to the station. In fact, it reminded me of previous episodes that we did with the farming because you have to be in the sun all day. It hurts your back and you're carrying really heavy loads. So I decided I really want to see where the origins of salt is. I really want to see the field where salt is first collected. So that's where we're going next. Now we are going to the salt pan and they told me that we could walk there but I learned from the museum that it's huge. So I asked them is there a faster way to get there and they said sure. You can bike there. So we're gonna go to the salt pan, follow me. Hi,那。啊,這個區域早期就是說,誒,田。除了保護漆以外它夾起來就馬上吞進去
I have never seen these birds before and apparently I'm not the only one because foreigners from all over the world come to Taiwan just for bird watching because we have a variety of unique birds including the black-faced spoonbill. Now Taiwan has this because it prides itself in protecting the environment and responding to the environment. For example, Juan mentioned that these birds were actually declining and we need to create an environment that will protect and cherish them. So what did they do? They took care of the environment and they imposed penalties for anyone that captured or killed these birds. And as a result, the population is thriving. Wonderful, you see. If you have time, I'll take you to the next point. The next point will see a lot of birds in the next point. 鸟类栖息点，就是在我们这边过去不到很远的地方，在井仔角那个地方，因为那种鸟类要等到黄昏的时候，它会才会到那个溪湖里面休息，所以要到五点左右才要过那些鸟。好。Anyone reading the news today can see that we're working hard to build really eco-friendly, often local houses. But I thought this was a modern concept. I didn't know that this was an old concept. But as you can see, they are still using local materials ages ago to build the house. For example, you see the coral reefs here that they used to build the walls. Clearly, this is not a house anymore as it's been torn down. But I want to know if I can find somebody to show me some of the older houses that are maybe still standing and we can find out more how they use local materials to build these houses. Follow me. I like this one very colorful. Well, how old are these buildings? It's about 60 years old. This one is a normal water water. Of course, it has a lot of different shapes. There are many different shapes of the shape. It is a shape of the shape of the shape. It is a shape of the shape of the shape. And then, does the design mean anything? The little bones, does it mean anything? Or is it just for decoration? The outside is a little bit of a shape of the shape. The shape of the shape of the shape of the shape of the shape is to be able to make it up. It's like a shape of the shape of the shape. It's like a shape of the shape of the shape. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 这些是，就是家吗 ？B M D， 哎，就是民宿，都是我们台南的北门这边的老房子下去改建。这里目前就是我们把它保留的，就是以前的红砖瓦，包括它的木梁，我们都没有把它挡起来。哎，而且它的通风啊、采光，我们都是有设计过的。哎，啊，这一些东西。这个东西是好可爱，这新的这份是什么？它原本就有了，我们就把它保留下来。哦哦，是小孩。对，可以在这边。它这边就是那个游戏室。哦，这是什么？对，小朋友的游戏室。What is this? It's very. I like the basic one. 对，哎。哇 ，I like that this building has a lot of really unique and different designs from the traditional houses that you see when you go through. This one stands out a lot. Yeah, we have very interesting ingredients. 做西瓜面，西瓜，对，那个西瓜，小的时候，哦，嘿，然后要把它用来煎蛋、炒蛋。这个，这是什么？西瓜
，这是西瓜。对，用盐巴。啊，西柚，来。好。How do you make this？ 对，西瓜面就是用盐巴、盐田。是。嘿，那个盐巴。下去把它西瓜削皮，用盐巴。什么？压一个礼拜，七天。Seven days。对 ，seven。很久。对。好。那来，就要怎么料理 ？How are we going to cook？ 这个，好，就把它切。哇。然后这个，把它浸水。哎，为什么？因为它很酸，很酸，要浸一下水才不会那么酸。To remove the sour flavor。对对对，然后泡一下水。So you want to get rid of the sour taste with the water right now? 对，啊，浸一下了之后，浸一下水，就直接拿拿起来了，用水沥干，就放在这个上面，打蛋，一个两个，哎，三个好了，三个，三个嘿。Let's see if we can do it with one hand. 我要一个 hand, one hand. 我们一个手试看。哎 ，one hand. Now right hand, okay. Oh, wow, good. Hey, I'll add this in. Chima? Yeah. We're mixing watermelon with eggs, which you got to admit, I've never had that before. This one is not a whole melon, it's a premature melon. Many fruits. Fruits have many fruits, but we're going to cut it down. Cut it down. Cut it down. 剩下两颗、三颗，让它长大。哦、oh, ，All of it、ah,。o、okay. k All of it、okay.。一、二、三。好。等它熟了，等一下就甩甩边，它就会翻过去。So in Thailand, it's the traditional way to make it like one bit pancake rather than stir fry it. 对，啊，这样子会就是上菜桌菜会比较好看一点。So I've just learned that traditionally they use this style, which is scrambled eggs and melon for breakfast. But then if you're going to be fancy for dinner or lunch, they're going to use pancake style, so they can flip it over. Can you show me how to flip it? Okay. Wow, look at that. It's very beautiful. Let's try it. Yay! Hi. 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 Let's try this now. Mm. Oh, it kind of reminds me of the texture of an onion, like if you scramble eggs and onion together. But if you don't like the really, really strong flavor of onion, this is a much better alternative. It doesn't have too much of an intense flavor, but it does have a hard melon texture to it. Sunsets in Taiwan. 对，这是我们台湾很重要的一个晒眼的一个地方。那所以我们就保留下这一个东西。那我们来看一下这个眼怎么来的。
我们整个自演的过程就是外海，我们这边就是一个海，不是从海水就引进到这边来，不是的，它要经过很多的过程。第一个的话，就在那边，就在那边有一个叫做大蒸花池，我们叫做细湖，把一些海水里面的一个杂质、不好的东西，就慢慢这边沉淀，然后要沉淀了五天。再经过小镇花池，也经过五天、啊、然后我们再把它放在我们的一个炉池里面，又在那边沉淀啊，又在那边曝晒啦。啊，最后从那边从这个管流下流下来，然后分到我们的蒸花池，这个叫我们的蒸花池啊，在那边蒸花池要晒了差不多五天四五天的时候，然后就会小小的，你看那个盐巴就慢慢凝固啦。哦、慢慢的结晶了，哎、哦，对对对对对对,对，慢慢的一个结晶出来了。按照结晶出来的时候，哎，我们就像这样子，一直把它推，然后把盐就是推成这样子一堆了。哦，这个就是整个制盐的过程。How many days does it take for the water to evaporate and for the salt to crystallize？ 大约的话是要二十一天呐、啊，二十一天真的很长，所以二十一天里面不能有下雨。How do they bring the once the water is evaporated and the salt has crystallized? How do they bring it back to the place? 好，那我们来尝试一下。OK。好，来，就这样，哎。好，那就扛起来。好重。好重哦，不会啦。来。Looking at the salt field, it really puts into perspective how much work it takes to create a very simple ingredient in our cooking. For us, it's easy to throw some salt on our food and enjoy it, but the reality is it actually takes 21 days for this entire process. Five days in the big lake, another couple of days in the small lake, and then more time in these individual pods, waiting for it to evaporate, raking all the salt, then bringing it into the stores to be sold so that you can enjoy in your food. And being out here and seeing this entire process really makes me more appreciative of how much hard work it takes just to produce this ingredient. Kind of like all of our other food ingredient, it's very easy for us to eat it when it's on the table. But every single thing that's on our plate takes an enormous amount of work to get to your plate, so you can enjoy it. So many people have come here all to do bird watching and they bring these massive cameras as you can see behind me just for the bird watching. Wow, look! Wow. May I ask what are you watching for? Hmm. Wait a minute, I want to see a small bird. It's called a hei-hu-yen. 它是来台湾度冬，而且它是每天都会来这里过夜。啊，等到日落的时候，它会停在那个科本上面。啊，每个科本它会都会停一只。啊，所以它白天失去觅食，晚上才会回来。等它呢要停下的时候呢，它会整群哈，整合整合它的那个
队形啊，然后再绕绕几圈，然后再停下。前面那个，你看小小的那个就是了，那已经有的，已经回来了。有有有有有有有。啊，等一下有上万只以上。Most of us use salt every single day for cooking or other purposes, but not many of us, including people in Taiwan, really know about the background, history, and culture that salt originates from. Most people don't even know about this hidden treasure, this paradise. And even though salt is no longer produced this way, thankfully, it is still treasured and is still preserved through the salt museum, through all these people. Efforts here. However, this doesn't mean that people simply got relaxed. They also redirected their efforts to other meaningful causes. For example, you saw that people were working hard to preserve the environment. Thanks to that, the bird population is growing, including the black-faced spoonbill that we saw. I would encourage people to come here not only to learn about the history and culture of an ingredient that is in their everyday lives, but it's also one of the top hidden gems in Taiwan with stunning views to enjoy. But the flavors surprisingly complement each other quite well. 好，向阳老师，可是我听不懂。Building is this a Japanese building? Yeah, he said Japanese building. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.